Hey guys, if you're watching this at home, then that means that you're having some problems with documentation of your MLA research paper. I've got a few things that I want you to see. Maybe it will help you tide you over until we can get together and talk again. So if you'll hang on for just one second, let's switch over to the Elmo. And we'll get you started. Okay. Here's what we're going to be looking at as it deals with documentation for your research paper. When you work on a research paper, you always want to document where you received your information. Most of us are doing ours through electronic sources nowadays. If you're going to cite an entire website, I have given you the examples of the information that you're going to want to get off of your resources that you print from your internet. I've given you two things. The first one gives you the information that you're going to be looking for. The second one is the same information, only I have put names in there in this, where you can get your information from. The second thing that you're going to want to look at possibly would be a page on a website. Here I've given you something to look at, how to make chicken spaghetti. You're going to go to ehow.com. That is, um, and it gives you the information here as to what to look for. Remember, the, some of the new rules are if there's no date on this particular website, then you want to make sure that you put an N period, D period to indicate that there's no publication given. Same thing with a publisher. E period, um, I mean N period, P period means no publisher. The next thing that we want to look at is an article on an, um, of a scholarly journal that you can get online. Here I've given you the, the very generic information that you're going to want to use. Here I've given you um, the specifics. You've got your author's name, the name of the article that appears would be in, ital in um, um, quotation marks. In italics, you're going to put the name of the publication. Sometimes volume and pages are given, um, and the issues. We're not given that in this specific, uh, this specific example. However, there's no, there is a, a publication for the year of when it was published, and then also the medium, whether it is on the web or possibly it's in print. So this is in, you want to indicate whether or not it's online or whether or not it's a print publication. And then this is the date that you access the material, the date that you actually looked it up and printed it off. The last thing that, uh, one of the next things that we want to look at is the in-text citations. How do we actually tell the reader where to look for this material? And these are called in-text citations or parenthetical citations. Here's an example of a quote. This is a direct quote because, as you notice, it's got quotation marks around it. And then at the end of the uh, quote is your citation. It tells you that this the author's name was Kimbrough, and it was in uh, published in the, the article Rainforest. Here is another way that you can uh, use in-text citations. Here, you'll notice that we have used the author's name. We have a direct quote because it has quotations around it. And in order to, um, to indicate which article it came out of, we have listed a rainforest in our citation. The next thing that I want to talk about with documentation deals with formatting the quotations. There are two types of quotations. One is short, which is less than four type lines. It's used within the text of your paper. It uses quotation marks, and the citation goes on the inside of the period. As the, Look at the example that I've given you. 
According to the night sounds of the rainforest, it can be, quote, beautiful and very dangerous, end quote. Your citation is from Kimbrough, and the period goes after your last parentheses. The other type of quotation are what we call long quotes. These are quotes that are more than four typed lines, double spaced, as is the rest of your paper. It's blocked one inch from the left margin. There are no quotation marks, and the period goes on the inside of the citation. I've given you an example. The only thing, the computer wouldn't do this correctly, so I'm gonna blame it on technology. This should be right in this spot right here, or it should be underneath this. But as the quote goes, when we think of the Amazon, most of us conjure images of a lush, leafy, humid forest, home to an exotic array of tropical species. We envision a peaceful place, the soothing, quiet, broken only by the call of a bird or the gurgling of a stream. And that is a quote from Kim. Okay? If you have any other questions, run back through these um, uh, this little video, and if not, jot those down, and we can talk about it the next day in class. I hope that this has been informative, and uh, hopefully that you'll look at some of the others that I'm preparing for you.